guys are doing, you're doing a little bit too much. I remember you're feeling <laughs> crazy. Yo, 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 yo. Calm down. Are you feeling okay mm. now? How are you doing? How you I don't doing know. Is D'Angelo watching the show from New York? Uh-huh. Is Erica nice. Badu watching the show from New York? So, why, why did you Madame Jill Erica? Scott, are you watching the show from New York? Yeah, yeah. Alicia Keys, are you watching the show? Come on. I know who is. I can be the plug for a collabo, <laughs> baby. <laughs> That'd be dope. Let him know. <laughs> Maxwell, are you watching the show? Yeah, man. <laughs> Hey, hey. Levels. I told you we're not going to get done with this. Anyway, <laughs> as Dougie Nice gets to cool off from all the fire that we have in the house, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, allow me to let you guys know that, yes, he is in the building, in flesh, the one and only Morris Curia, a.k.a. the ladies' man. What is your a.k.a. again? That's Morris Curia. <laughs> but, yeah, Morris Curia is in the house. It's very good to have you back. we outside, but before you even get into all the chitty chattered everything, you get to say what's up to your fans because I'm pretty sure they missed you so much. So just say hello to the people. That's lovely. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a welcome. <laughs> yeah. Yo. 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 Well, it's me, Maurice Kiri, and I'm here, right here on NTV The Beat, and yeah. it's good to be back. Oh, yes. It's, it's good to be back here or yeah, in the country? I'm in the country. This is home. This How is where I live. How does it feel, like, uh, temperature-wise, lady-wise? For me, it's the people. The For me, it's the people. I just, I just love you guys. What's, what's the biggest difference that you've noticed? Because we do know you have, I would say, Zungad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I, I, do say, <laughs> I do travel a bit, but yeah. I would say the most, uh, uh, the thing that stands out for me yeah. is, is always the people because uh, it feels like family. Yeah. And, and, and that's not just in Uganda. It's going to be the same exact thing. Yeah. Ugandans are just warm and friendly people. Uh, you have, have you seen them on Twitter? <laughs> I'm just wondering. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Twitter can be brutal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yes, it's good to have you back. And I know for sure you didn't just come with, without anything, but we want to first take no, a little goodness. step back and get to find out how you have been, what you have been up to. The pandemic basically gave different people different vibes. What right. was Maurice Curious journey through the pandemic? Maurice Curious, the artist. Well, um, I think it's safe to say that everybody grew a lot, yeah. uh, both as people and whatever they do, their careers. We found ways of uh, repositioning ourselves yeah. so I, I grew a lot uh, yeah. both as a man uh, as a father and as a musician so yes. Uh, what, oh, and, on and an album? physically as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, physically. To, we know we know there are some parts of this that are yeah, 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 cool. you know. So yeah, <laughs> I, I think I've grown and I've yeah. had a great time working on a new album, The Road to Kyria, which yeah. has uh, been released in June sixth. Yes. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be back home uh, for many months now and yeah. performing around Kampala and introducing yeah. people to the new music so it's good to be back Aww. fantastic I know I know Morris for um, what pretty much best defines Morris is patience yes I've not met so many musicians that exercise the gift of patience when it comes to releasing music yeah. countless times I've, I've had the chance to bump into him here and there yes. uh, a few times he's, he's on a coffee he's on a laid-back chill and th the question I always ask him the last time I actually bumped into Morris was at Akashi Mall mm -hmm. and uh, he, he was having a cup of coffee and stuff mm -hmm. so as I was walking towards him because I'd been asking so many times that is your way now you remember? I do. I just came to say hello. Yeah. So he was like, ah, how are you? Yeah. I'm about to get done. Yes. Yeah, just know, give me time. I, 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 I like done. to take the time. Yeah. Yes. Because I take my fans seriously and I yes. want to let them digest the old music. Or you give yeah. them time. Or if you put an album, you give them time. Yes. So, and I know that why we were able to studio on Kola. So, every time I release a song, it's well thought of, or yes. an album is well thought of, and not only for me, but also for the fans. Yes, but uh, many may argue because we have seen so many people uh, switch the narrative to yeah. okay, we've seen some artists say they're going to release per month just uh, for, I think, well, talkability basically to be in people's faces. Yeah. When you take a step back, does it not have an impact on how well the next uh, song will be uh, released? Because if you 
people say out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> like yeah. they'll somehow maybe forget you in that in meantime. Is there usually like a, that extra effort or is there something that you have to do for them to now be able to take you back in after you've taken a haters of music? No, I, I guess uh, the music for me is not just a business. I'm glad that it's been a good business. I'm yeah. so thankful for, for who I am as, as an artist. Yeah. Uh, but I do it because I love it. Yeah. So uh, there's songs that can be rushed yes. because they're just fun, you know, and everything, yes. and I enjoy them. Then there's songs that need to be nurtured and taken time with. Yes. So. It doesn't, it doesn't affect you? Like when you come back, you're like, ha, man, I've taken a whole year. Um, yeah, now this one, I have I think to like possible. either extra promote or something. <laughs> it's for them possible to get that back. it could affect me in the eyes of someone else. Yeah. But from where I'm standing, usually I know everything takes the time it needs. Yes. Some things happen like this, yes. and other things be wow. Yeah. So I, I really don't try to stress myself about it. I try to enjoy fast. Yes. Uh, I have to love what I'm doing fast yeah. before I give it, out there. Give it so out there. So it might happen quick or not. Yeah. I, have been, I, have, I have been a witness to what you're saying because, I mean, uh, you know, a, a, couple, a couple of years ago, you, you, you had the sound cut. Yeah. And, uh, you still do. <laughs> you still do. Yeah. But the performance, though. Yeah. Where oh, you, you mean the, the restaurants? Oh. Yeah, where yeah. you used to oh, yes. perform from. Mm. Um, I, was it a Garden City? Garden City and Village Mall. And yeah. Village Mall. But what, what he's trying to say is that uh, 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 that night where he used to perform, yeah. I had, had people who were telling me all the time, you'd hear people saying, to get them and I was going to get And true to the testimony, you would get there by 7 p.m., even, even half 6 p.m., yeah. and you don't find a place to sit. And what gave me so much pride every yeah. time I would watch this guy yeah. and his guys perform is that you would find people sitting on the floor. Yes. Because they're out of seats, but they will not mind. No, just sit on the floor. On the floor. Yes. And I was like, what witchcraft is this? We used to be one of those people. I think he used to remember. Yeah, I, I, I remember you used to walk in on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> just watching this guy. He on a stool, and I said, this Maurice Kia, what witchcraft is he using? I don't understand, and I really I, I touch a lot of respect. To I that. think it's more it's more that uh, people feel valued. Yeah. They're like they they know you're gonna start on time. They yes. know whatever you're doing there. You're thinking so of it them. So creates a rhythm. Or yeah. Something, yeah. So when I go on stage or if we're in college, if we're anywhere, yeah. people trust me. There's some kind of credibility yes. because of the years and years and years that of you've being done consistent yeah. with both the quality, the presentation, yes. and um, and the promise. Oh yes. And, and the, promise the, the thing that you actually got to highlight is the fact that. You you put in your time in everything. We see how much time you put in the music industry, and not yeah. so long ago, people now decided to embrace <laughs> Maurice Curie as an actor. <laughs> and I felt like you were going above and overboard as Maurice Curie as an actor, yeah. changing appearance, change yeah. basically you changed everything about yourself. Does it not, does one not affect the other? Is it possible for the two to actually be, or for you to be able to give 100% both um, uh, ends? Uh, I think what people don't know that, I, I, of course, I come from a musical family, Vampino, yes. Saba Saba, Saba, Saba and, yeah. but my original dream was actually to be an actor. And you actually mentioned that now that you are, you're enjoying it, but yeah, you have I'm to tell us all it. about um, it. I have a great team. Yes. I, I mean, you can see them all over the place. Yes. And yeah, they are watching a, f a live <laughs> show a for free. free. Show. <laughs> for free. Hey. They're not <laughs> playing. You, if it's not for these guys, <laughs> yeah. I probably wouldn't do so well. Yeah. So because of them, I keep time. Yes. I do all the projects uh, in the way I should. Yes. So it's not easy balancing all the things I do, running a coffee brand, yeah. acting, uh, doing there, there music. There are people helping you do Reading um, scripts and writing I, music. I just make sure that I work with people that understand the vision and yeah. people that can help me get there. Why, why, why did you say that it's a good time to be an actor? What what is good about being an actor? It's a good time because when, when we started up, sorry, yeah. I cut you short, yeah. with Wata and Ika, Tewali, all these facilities that we have for actors, they, oh, yeah. there wasn't an industry for actors in Uganda. It yeah. wasn't there. So we were dreaming and we wanted to be actors. We knew we had the talent, but we didn't have the infrastructure. Yeah. Now it's starting to exist because of things like Netflix, Newane mm. Uganda, uh, Winyini, Power Magic, or whatever, NTV, yes. Yes. you know? So these opportunities have come and uh, they're allowing people to be the actors they want to be and tell oh, yeah. the stories they actually want to tell. Oh, yeah. So it's a good time for me to be an actor because I'm part of an ecosystem that's only going to keep growing. Oh. That's nice. Fantastic, man. Excellent. <laughs> Yo, uh, let's talk about music. How much do you enjoy writing music, creating music? But then also, I know that in between, as you're writing music, you are also reading scripts. Yeah. Because you're into acting. How do you strike that balance? Um, 
music is really you see acting I think I hope you can quote me on this someday yeah. why I find acting to be harder than music because in music 80% of what I do in music is is me yeah. it's my voice it's my tone it's my appearance it's it's my it's vibe. It's coming from you. It's yeah. coming from me. But in acting, it's the other way around. Oh, the 80% that else. you are mm. is what the director wants. Yeah. Wants oh, you yeah. to be. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, so when, to answer your question, writing is easier for me than reading than, scripts. Than reading yeah. scripts. Yes. But then and entering character. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but then acting is easier for me than singing. Oh, yeah? I'll explain. <laughs> With acting, it's someone else's story, yeah. someone else's script, someone yeah. else's pain. I've been told to put it on the screen. Yes. With singing, a lot of it has some truth yes. to who I am and where I've come from. And yes. that can be painful in a way as yeah. well. And ah. you, it leaves you it's, a, it's a bit too revealing. Oh, yes. Oh, that's quite interesting to get to see. But, okay, <laughs> you've worked on quite a number of projects. Is there one in particular that you can highlight? You'll be like, yo, man. Ha, this, this, this set got me like this, 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 working with this person <laughs> got me like... Uh, what people actually didn't know recently yeah. when we did the film festival, yeah. uh, this, I started acting in 2008 in a movie called Live Joseph by yes. the Ghetto Film School of New York. Yes. And they shot it here. So yes. Nintanika went to then Last King of Scotland, then the Hostel series, yes. Yes. then uh, The Painter as the yes. lead, then Scenes of the... So I kept growing, growing. But yes. these things I wanted to show that I never had the opportunity. Yes. So then I got Queen of Katwe, which propelled me, The Last King of Scotland, yes. with Forest Whitaker. Yes. But then Yellow Jumper is still King. one of my favorites because it allowed me to not be Maurice Curie. That's what I was going to say. Like, that, that was I, I, let me tell you a story. You're <laughs> going to love this. So yeah. I was in Germany, and there yeah. was this uh, uh, lady who yeah. wanted to impress me yes. about how she knows about Uganda. Yes. So she starts to tell me uh, about a movie called The Girl in the Yellow Jumper. Yes. So it went for another whole day. We were hanging out. <laughs> And she still didn't know that you I was were Patrick. in the yellow jumper. Yeah, in the yellow jumper. That's <laughs> the <laughs> biggest compliment I ever got for my acting. Yes. Because she still didn't know I was that guy. Yeah. Yeah. We were together the whole day. Don't ask me why. <laughs> <But> <laughs> this is the one in the yellow jumper. That's a story for another day. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and and that's the best set I've ever been on. Yes. The girl in the yellow jumper because it allowed me to be a bit extreme. Yes. Fantastic. You are one of those people that are quiet when it comes to jibba jabba in the industry yeah you're one of those people that are really quiet okay he even said he hates so it. <laughs> for me I, wo I woke up one morning and uh the man who is celebrating his birthday today baby cool yes. had endorsed you to become the president of the uganda musicians association yeah. and i was thinking to myself how? what <laughs> who? this guy doesn't know how to fight <laughs> as you come from a background of <laughs> so when I read it, I said, this guy doesn't know how to fight. Yeah. This is the coolest guy. This is the most calm man yeah. to ask him to lead yes. an industry as Uganda's. Yes. But then again, I thought, if only I had a chance to ask you, how did that make you feel? For uh, a man like Bebeku to endorse you and front you and say, I'll front more skill. I think um, one of my, um, <coughs> the things that maybe stand out for people uh, about me is yeah. the credibility. And many artists have asked me to do certain things uh, because they know they can trust that whatever I will do will be in the interest of the artists. Yeah. So I've been one artist for 20 years now who's yeah. never been in any beef with yeah. anybody, who's been politically I'll correct. I'll beef you just for fun. You'll beef you for fun. Yeah, let's see how it goes. So, <laughs> and, and that's why most artists trust me yes. because they know Maurice will only do what he thinks is right. He, yeah. I'm not necessarily a guy who takes sides, yeah. but it's for the greater, greater good, if, if yeah. that's the word. Yeah. So I think why he endorsed me, along with many other people who had endorsed me before yes. him, uh, yeah. but I think because mm. not only here but yeah. all over the world yeah. the experience is there yes. uh, the motivation is there I have a history that I can stand by yes. and, and credibility yes. and I know how to talk to people yes. I know how to sort uh, solution, uh, to find solutions to yes. problems because I have actually done that yes. 20 years now. Which, Do you know which, how which, to which yeah. yeah. So I think, I can't speak for him because that's something he would say for yeah. or on, he, on his own, but if I had to suspect why, 
I think it's those things. Which also begs the question, Fantastic, yeah. you went ahead to say, well, in an industry which, where we are right now, yeah. it's 2022, uh, yeah. people are using the beef that you're talking about to actually sell their albums, sell the music, sell themselves yeah. online and everything. It's because but their art is weak. Yeah, but you said, actually, you said gossiping is ruining the industry, it and is. yet that is what people are actually using right I, about now. I, so I, how, how exactly does it? I, I think when, when you can stand by your craft and get into Chokolo Chesiga, yeah. you don't need to bring any other artist down for mm. you to be seen. Yes. If you really think you're that good, put your best foot forward and yeah. the people will be the judges. Yes. But in an industry where people are saying, oh, uh, uh, the other guys are doing better mm. and this and this, and the DJs are not playing our music. Mm. No, it has to start here. We have to be loving to one another. Mm. We have to get together. Pulling each other down is not going to get us anywhere. Yeah, but true. lifting each other, working with each other, is the only way people are going to know about Ugandan music. Yeah. The so only you do reason not believe in the no, stunts and everything? Uh, no, no, they can. There's stunts that make sense. True. But if that stunt is only going to leave someone dead mm. and on the ground, that's so not a stunt. It. Yeah. It's not worth it. Yeah. Let your stunt leave everybody okay. Yeah. Let everybody smile. Uh, yeah, like let I say, everybody all sheep eats. must let, say. Let every candle let, light. Let every candle light. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the baby. You're back yeah. with a brand new baby. Linda, 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 Linda was here at, at the genesis of the show, and, and she was calling it a year, that the year is done. I said, no. <laughs> we don't call it yet. People are still dropping babies. Let's talk about the baby. Yeah. How excited are you? I am very excited. Yeah. I'm uh, actually one of the guys, uh, two of them in the team. I woke yeah. up and said, listen, guys, I have this idea. I'm going to do a song that's, that's kind of, you know, has this kind of vibe. So yeah. I went to the studio and we worked on a song called Booba. Yeah. And that's the new baby. It's an Afrobeat song. Yeah. Uh, it's a style that I haven't done. That's before. what I was going yeah. to tell, tell you, Paul. <laughs> Extremely out of your comfort yeah. zone. Yeah, Extremely. you need to look at the camera and tell them, hi, my name is Morris Kier. I did an <laughs> Afrobeat song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell them because they won't right, believe us right. if we say it. Hi, my <laughs> name is Maurice Kiria and I did an Afro bitch song. Because this is the part where I'm pretty sure, because we are going to play the song, yeah, but people yeah. are definitely going to say, are you sure this was, was it your idea to do this? Uh, how you see, did, because that's like you in two what, different worlds right now. What people don't know, uh, when I started, I started as a rapper. Yeah. And I realized I was a terrible rapper, so I stopped <laughs> and I sang. When I sang, people paid attention. Yeah. But my brother is Vampino. Yes. So my brother introduced me to a lot of dancehall. Yes. And dancehall is kind of very connected with Afrobeat. Yes. So I enjoy this music. And because I've managed to put out my album, The Road to Kira, which yeah. is very jazzy, I was yes. like, I want to have fun with something I've never really done before. Yeah. So then I decided to do Booba, and I'm just so excited how people were about to do like, yeah. yeah. I, I really we, put it we, out there to be they, fun. The Ugandan yeah. way, we never expected it. Yeah. We did expect <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. We didn't expect it, but you yes. Know, so, and, and they, they like it, I like it, and I'm going to continue doing music, mm. uh, both to inspire, but also to have fun, so people can enjoy to, to dance in the clubs. Yeah. But also, I want it, no, let me not say this. Is there the any other genre you have <laughs> <team. laughs> yeah. Is there any other genre aside from now that you've taken away Afrobeat that you've not yet, uh, well, stepped into a trade? Uh, yeah, I've I've never stepped into hip hop or rap, and that's for good reason. <laughs> Even being Lingala. But though, I'd like to credit you for for the style that you implored in, yeah. in uh, Busabala. Yeah. I love that style. Yeah. I don't even know how to call it. It's as uh, if you're singing, but you're like tongue folk? twisting. It's a mix of you know, you, you know the moyo. tongue twist. Yeah. yeah, it's a mix of moyo, mm. folk, and hip hop. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know that kind of vibe, and I was thinking, wow. And now this we is have my guy right here. A new Push one. And now he's Afrobeat. stepping into the space of Afrobeat. Yes. Fantastic. Of which it's actually very interesting. So, who are you jealous about? What was the Bube, Where did it come from? <laughs> uh, I wanted to write a song that is a typical song that, yeah. if we were to listen to what men are thinking in their heads, uh -huh. it's really this: Twine Buba. But I also wanted to, to write words that most women secretly want to hear. Mm -hmm. They sound scary, but they want, most women want their men to be a little bit jealous. Yeah. So I wanted to, you know, to represent both sides of the coin. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Have you ever been? Have you ever been? Every man's been jealous. I, I can be a jealous man for sure. I 
fantastic. <laughs> okay. All right, yo, let's give the credits to the baby as we're about to call it. Mm -hmm. Give us the credits. The pen game. The show audio thing. The sound. The visuals. Right. Uh, the, the song. The dancers. <laughs> Una. Well, uh, I wrote the song. I sang the song, but it was produced by, a, by an amazing producer that I've worked with for so many years. Yeah. Sam Bisaso. Oh, yes. I mean, I don't. I think he's touched every album I've, I've done. And then it was... Um, the video was shot by director Pest from Great Make Great Films. Make. Mm. And yeah, and uh, everything coordinated by Peas and Pots, which is a company that does branding and events. Oh, yeah. Wow, awesome. fantastic. How is Uncle Sammy? Mr. Uncle Sammy, Sammy is, uh, is good. He's right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's a good guy. He's, I mean, I've known Sammy. We've worked together yeah. since 2010. That says a lot. Yeah. Oh, yes. Which is quite I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw Sammy in the, um, actually, uh, 2008. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw Sammy in that video, the gospel song, and yeah. I was thinking. Zani. Zani. I think, Sammy wants to be the owner of the song or what? <laughs> you almost pushed you out. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well, before we even get to let you go, before you even yeah. get to, like, uh, flag off your baby, right. is there any last words that you have for the young men, the young ladies out there? Basically, actually, before, either, you, before, yeah. you say, be, before you say your last remark, yeah. I want somebody to zoom in Maurice on camera here. <laughs> about you. Eh. Can't you one? about you. Wagamba Moriskiria. Fifty people ask, Oh, your guy, Muroko, eh? I am a gossip guy. Oh, Ovacova Chidandal. Guy, Muroko, eh? Aguawa. Would you clear that on air? It was it a bond to Ongami Chidemurugan. People, people, people attach you to be so religious. And people think over you, over your born again, over your. I don't know. Katin Zenganze. Ndi muntu. <laughs> Ndi muntu wa ina omutimu ogwaga la abantu. Mm. Ogwaga le vintu. Mm. Ogwaga lo kole le vintu. Eviza mwa manji mwantu. Mm. Ntu alanga wenzize. Nangenja kutu alanga voze. Oh. He practiced. Last remarks one. to the fans. <laughs> about this Last particular. Thing. And what's next? Are we expecting something? Oh yeah. Uh, I will be doing. Th there's a lot of collaborations that I've worked on with yeah. a couple of artists, uh, Bawanu, yes. and, and other, and, and in Nigeria and all that. So I can't wait to put out so much new music. So I'm actually doing a lot of performances. I'm going to be going to Mbarara, Gulu, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And it's really, for me, not much about the money. It's about getting to connect with all those fans, especially those who True. could not make it to the shows that Kolamuno Muserena and I just want to make sure over Fort Porto, wherever it is, that I can go Jebali, you know, to connect with them. So. Yeah. Uh, my fans who are watching, uh, you just let me know where you are. You can call, uh, follow me on social media. Yeah. Let me know where you are, and my team is here. We're trying to make sure we perform for you and that we give you this music. Fantastic. Sweet. Are you on TikTok? Yes, I am. I need to I'm see, new. I need to see the unserious you. I need to see the very unserious you. That is another story for another day. I need to see the unserious you, Maurice. So you're on TikTok. Story yes, for another Bus. day. We and need a Snapchat. message of hope <laughs> Morris, for, you, you for your people. Right, right. And yeah. Say that again, sorry. And a message of or maybe hope. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll end it this way yeah. because I treated something yesterday that yes. was quite retreated quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and I say that as Ugandans, we need to give more opportunity to to the youth yes i feel like they're lost they're stranded they don't have the opportunities they need and us guys who have the platforms or people who are older than us and have the platforms giving handouts to the youth does not fix the problems yeah. of the yeah. youth but rather putting them letting them have a seat at the table is the solution so i'd like to say to anybody that's watching and you have some sort of power some sort of position and status that can help the youth don't give them handouts bring them on the table, work with them. This is what the youth need, and that's what I want to say. Amazing. Morris, thank you want to say so thank much. you for coming through? Yep. Appreciate that. It's always good vibes being around you. Oh, well, and before I go, I have to acknowledge Selector. I, yeah. I, I, I almost, you know, yeah. well thank done. you thank you for, for what you do. Oh, I, long time. I appreciate that. All right, yo, we're going to hear it for a break, and when we come back, we drop a brand new baby from Morris Kiria. It is called Booba. We'll be right back.